everyone, this is Mac K2 Music with another edition of You Can Play It Too. Today we are looking at the Roland Cube 80 XL amplifier, probably the number one selling amp that we sell for gigging out musicians around here. Playing in a band, you want something that's reliable, that you can get good sounds out of, also that has enough volume to be heard on stage when you're playing in a live situation. The Roland Cube 80 XL is a great amp. I personally own one and we've sold probably close to a dozen of these since we've been open. And um, I'll show you some of the features. I'll run through some of the sounds. But the best thing is that you can come on in the store here and you can play it too. All right, here we are looking at the uh, panel of the Cube 80 XL. This amp is set up kind of like a three-channel amp, more of a two-channel amp, but they, they call it a three-channel amp because you have that solo function, which we'll discuss later. The first channel we're looking at is the JC Clean or the uh, Jazz Chorus Clean. And this is a nice, bright, clean sound. controls on this channel are pretty simple. It's, it's volume, a bright on or off. Is that bright? Here it is without it. You can hear the difference. So, if you like a real nice bright sound. That's that famous jazz chorus clean, which has no breakup at all, high headroom. Great clean sound. You can see I've got my tone control set. I'll set them a little flatter than that, just so you can hear it, you know. So this is a global EQ on this, and a global presence, obviously. Um, now the way this amp is set up here is we have this clean channel that basically you have a volume or a bright switch. Then you go over to the lead setting, and the lead setting you can see has a bunch of different amp simulations to it. And they all sound very authentic, and they all are really nice in their own right. So I'll switch it over. I'm going to take the gain and back that down to about 50%. I'm going to go over, and it starts out with the acoustic simulator. Now this is, you know, set up to sound kind of like an acoustic guitar, supposedly. It's real ultra bright, clean sound there. Next one is probably my favorite one is the black panel, set up like a Fender Blackface amp. This is a really good patch if you want to put pedals on top of it. It's clean. It's not too brittle sounding. I can add a little gain to push that. Thickens it up a little bit. And that's great for pedals. I've used this personally on my own. If you want to amp it to run pedals in, you know, in front of, that really takes an overdrive pedal nice and all your other effects. And that will get a little dirtier than that. Um, the deluxe combo is a Fender, like a deluxe reverb sound. A little bit more a push of a sound, and how I would explain this is it's a little bit has a little bit more mid range to it, like a uh, Fender deluxe reverb might have, 22 watt amp. British combo going over here, and this definitely has a, a lot of mid range to it. Fender Tweed amp, okay, kind of similar uh, to that. A lot more mid range here. Again, real nice for a clean, you know, for a bluesy sound. I can bring that gain back and add my volume here a little bit and get that real nice kind of neck, you know. Tweed amp on that, which was kind of the original circuit for the Marshall predecessors. Then we're getting into the classic. Now we're getting a little bit more of a Marshall sound. <laughs> things that's interesting about this amp is the range of gain changes with each one of these amplifier simulations. Then we go to a metal stack. See the difference there? Classic little 
darker, metal's got more top end. I'm gonna add the gain, now listen to this really. It's a great rhythm and a lead sound for playing metal. It's a nice sound. Now we go to a rectifier. I'm gonna come over here. Now it's more scooped. You'll hear this immediately. See that? Back that off a little bit. Oh, all the way. Now we're gonna go here to extreme. They even give you a new one here. This is great for the real fast. Really keeps up with your pitch. So that works really good for the speed metal. Then we have their uh, Dyna amp, which is Roland's own idea of the harder you play it, the more distortion there is. So that's a, that's a feature that's kind of an interesting one, and kind of trying to react like a tube amp. So we're gonna go up to the top here. I'm gonna go back to. Um, Maybe I'll go back to our classic setting and bring it down a little bit to show you some of the effects. So here's my EQ straight up. I'm going to set with this sound. I'm going to go down through the effects parameters. Um, I go over to a clean sound. Here's a chorus. This is nice. I can go up to a button. That's a real nice heavy chorus there. Or a real subtle chorus. Now go over to a flanger is my next setting here. And again, I've got flanger. I'll go over to my uh, distortion. the best. I'm going to come over here as a phase shifter. I'm going to go back to clean for that. So here we go. That's a real one for that funky sound. Or really heavy. Tremolo coming on now. Here's a tremolo. Subtle or even more. And then the heavy octave, which is kind of cool. Works good with the Good with single notes, not so good with chords. Yeah, not too bad with the metal. So that's the effects. Now also this has the delay section which is great, which is separate from the reverb. I have reverb been playing the whole time. Here's a delay section. I'll go back over to clean. You know. As I increase it, it's more of the volume of the delay. Right now I've got that set. I can tap that tempo really fast, you know. Get that double sound. Back it down a little bit, you know. That kind of thing there. Again, delay, pretty straight ahead. This does have a looper in it where I can loop a feature, play it back. It's kind of a nice little feature if you want to do some uh, real minimal looping. I'm not going to demonstrate that right now, but that is in there also. Then my reverb section, I got it set on spring to a lot of spring over to plate. To even more plate. So one the main features of this amp that really get me that make it such a great amp for playing out is you have the two separate channels and a solo switch. The way the solo switch works is I can take any sound and program it to that solo. 
So I can make it a clean sound, I can make it an overdrive sound, or a rhythm sound, or anything in between, and just program it to that. So I have clean, solo, and the lead channel. So, um, and that's all can be accessed via foot switch that, come, that you can buy for the amp. Um, the other big feature of this amp that makes it nice is you have a reverb, separate reverb and a separate delay controls. So if you want to run a reverb and delay together, you can. And with 80 watts, solid state power, these are a very reliable amp. We do have an extension speaker out, so you can plug it into an extension cab, an 8-ohm extension cab. I've done that on a live gig, and it's just, you know, been great. I run it on the black, piece, black panel setting and put some uh, pedals on it and get about any sound out of the amp you want, or you can use all the internal sounds. So the Cube 80 XL here at K2 Music for $3.99. Stop in and see why it's the number one gigging out combo amp that we sell. Uh -huh.